Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So, <clears throat> I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of uh, what I've been up to and my experiences in Dvorak and uh, Colmac. So, f as a New Year's resolution, I wanted to learn something new. Uh, and I was also noticing, uh, especially at work, some of the uh, pains that I was uh, experiencing, like typing, because that's all I did. So there are two, there's a few alternative uh, al alternative keyboard layouts called Dvorak and Colmac. Now Dvorak is the oldest of the two alternate, uh, more famous alternate keyboards. It was made in 1936 by August Dvorak and his brother-in-law, uh, William Dealey. So <clears throat> what the standard... Uh, keyboard is it's called QWERTY uh, based off of the six letters on the top row so that was developed uh, specifically for typewriters and is supposed to prevent jamming supposedly um, at least that's all the research that I could find I, there's a lot of myths uh, with that but for those who don't know like typewriters I actually did grow up between typewriters and the personal computer so I'm an 80s child and I still saw typewriters when I was a kid. If I pressed uh, two keys simultaneously like next to each other, they would actually jam and you would have to physically um, go into the machine and take it, uh, fix it, which is a pain in the butt. So that's why they spread the more common letters out <clears throat> to prevent those jams. However, with today's keyboards, um, even on your phone, QWERTY is probably not the best uh, way because a lot of people do develop what is known as RSI, which is uh, repetitive strain injuries <clears throat> in the wrist and also carpal tunnel. Because of the travel distance that you have to do, um, that it, it can be a pain if that's all you're doing uh, for work is just typing. So August Dvorak, uh, along with his brother, or brother-in-law, came up with the Dvorak keyboard layout. So uh, I've been doing this for about 10 months now, and I finally got up to about where I am with QWERTY. So I'm about 70 to 80 uh, in QWERTY. Uh, and I'm about 60, 65 in Dvorak. So that should should tell you. It took me at least 20 years, give or take, because I learned typing um, when I was in school. Uh, for sure, freshman year, which was around 99. So I've been doing it for well over 20 years now, typing. And I can now, uh, I wouldn't say I did a lot of like typing tests and stuff like that, um, but... I've been doing some typing tests and I can get up to in the 70s and 80s, which is above average. 40 words per minute is about average for everyone, but there are people that can go 100 to 150 words per minute, which I don't think I could ever do, but we'll see. Um, that's my goal is to get to at least 100. So with the Dvorak, <clears throat> they rearrange all the vowels on the left-hand side and the more common consonants on the right-hand side. <clears throat> the uh, That's the good thing, where you alternate your hands from left to right. The downside to it is they rearrange, I believe, uh, 20, 21 keys, or like 27 keys. So the A and the M and uh, the forward slash are the only things that stay the same from QWERTY. So it does take a bit of uh, getting used to. Um, granted, I was doing this in my off hours. I wasn't able to put as much practice as some people might have. So it took me at least two to three months to get used to uh, learning this and to get my speed back up. Where some people, if they have more time and practice few hours a night 
can get up there a lot faster. It did take a lot of, uh, it does take a lot of practice. However, there is a website called the Typing Course or Typing Club dot com. So you can learn how to touch type, which you don't have to look at your, your keys. And they do have one for Dvorak. So if you are familiar or if you want to learn, I suggest doing this. It's very, uh, really good. It gets you how you used to learn how to touch type within a classroom. So it is very good. So the other downside to the Dvorak is that the more common, and this is why I'm thinking about moving over or why I moved over to Colmac for at least at work, is <clears throat> on the normal QWERTY keyboard, the Z, X, C, and V are all over the place. So C is to copy, V is to paste, X is to like take it out, and Z is to undo. I work in an IT field, so I'm remoting into people's um, computers, and I have to copy over uh, certain texts onto a clipboard and paste it into their machines. If I'm in Dvorak, there's no way for me to do that without having to take my hand off the mouse, unfortunately. I did find a workaround, a, a newer shortcut that I didn't know about. If you do control insert and shift insert, that's copy and paste. But I have to awkwardly do it with my left hand. So Dvorak is the more common of the alternate. Um, it is on Mac, Windows, Linux, out of the box. So I'm still probably going to still do Dvorak at home once I get more comfortable with Colmac, but not at work because it is not very, uh, it's, it is more comfortable to type on it. I do feel it is more comfortable typing on it than say QWERTY or Colmac, but it's still not viable for with all my copying and pasting that I have to do throughout the day. So I needed to look for something else. So Colmac was created by Shai Coleman in 2006, and they named it after him. So that's where you get the name Colmac. So within Colmac, they only rearrange 17 keys. So uh, all the the basic Z, X, C, V um, has stayed the same. The M has stayed the same. Uh, and the Q and the W. So a lot of other stuff has moved. <clears throat> the downside to this when I moved over like a month ago was it is very awkward. Um, I did try finding websites. There's not as much resources, at least I haven't found, like a, like the Typing Club that taught me Dvorak. There's something called Typing Cat, but it's not as developed as, say, the Typing Club. And there was like a security thing anyway, uh, like the certificate on their website was like compromised or whatever. So it's not very good. <clears throat> there is a business, um, like one of the founders of WordPress, I forget his name, loves Colmac. And he uh, <clears throat> strongly suggests his employees learn Colmac. So... The differences between the Colmec and the uh, Dvorak is when you're typing, you, with Dvorak you move left, you're moving different uh, versions uh, or alternate from your left to your right, where in Colmec is more of a rolling motion, kind of like in um, you're rolling your fingers to type, say, like the, uh, so you're like T. HE, you're rolling your fingers over to it. And that can be a little uh, disorienting, I guess, but it's supposed to be a lot simpler transition from QWERTY to Colmac because it only it doesn't move as many uh, keys around, so it should be um, 
easier. There is something called tarmac, which actually takes, like, there's five stages. So in the first stage, it moves the N and the, the J key. So then you move to the next one. It, it gradually, you get used to, so it moves certain keys on certain levels, and by the time you're done with through that, you can type just fine in Colmac. Um, <clears throat> I didn't like that. Yeah, that's what the the big bag of tricks is. Um, there is a, another. Um, the downside is, uh, according to some, doing reaching for the H and the E. Uh, you have to stretch your fingers for the H and the E. So they have created something called uh, mod DH. So I'll show you what that looks like. So it's an interesting modification where they change. So instead, the H is down on the bottom row right next to the E. So it's supposed to be simpler to do. Uh, a lot of words actually have the H and the E in them. So if you're stretching your finger over, it could still cause my or, uh, RSI, apparently. They rearrange a lot more uh, letters also. And it is supposed to be good for ergonomics and split keyboards but I'm going to try to maybe see about learning this one just to see what it's like um, but I'm going to try to do the vanilla which is here um, Colmac is on the Mac system and Linux um, however it is not on Windows which is there is a petition out there that you can sign to have Windows implement it by default because you have to download it and run it. Uh, you're supposed to uh, run it as a script and stuff like that, which is unfortunate. So, because many people don't have access to administrative rights on their work computers, so. You would have to have like a strong case to ask your IT or your boss to uh, download this if you're willing to learn it. I have administrative rights, so I don't need to ask. I just downloaded it, and it's on my work computer. And I, I have been on and off for a couple months with it, but I decided uh, a couple days ago that I was going to just switch over my work computer to Colmac still have QWERTY on it so I can go back and forth uh, and I've done a, a couple of speed tests so without really trying uh, I went back to QWERTY for a little bit and then went to Colmac I'm about 25 to 30 words per minute which is still below average and it's still below my 60 to 65 um, words per minute in Dvorak but it feels a little bit more comfortable at least at my work uh, with the copying and pasting, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a month to see if I want to keep this or maybe just go back to Dvorak on there and just suffer with it. Um, another downside to um, to Colmac is, yeah, again, there's a lot of variations too, which because of the whole H, uh, reaching over for the H and the E, uh, the workmen... Uh, layout. That's what was created because of the issue, quote-unquote issue, with Colmac. It's more of a preference thing from what I've been uh, told by other Colmac users. So see what you think. Um, uh, I can leave all of these links uh, in the description below. But yeah, I, it's been very interesting. Um, again, the reason why you would probably want to switch is for like issues if you are typing a lot uh, it could cause carpal tunnel or RSI in the wrists so you would probably either need to get like an ergonomic keyboard or move layouts I would try to do the keyboard first before switching because um, I do know that Windows has that split ergonomic keyboard and I have used it a little bit at my work and it is actually pretty nice uh, it actually does help with these alternate keyboard layouts too. 
but if it's if your wrists are still hurting after that then I would maybe look into either Dvorak or Windows there is a lot of um, resources out there for switching there's a lot of people um, one of the fellow youtubers Wolf Gaines channel uh, he moved over to Dvorak there's other various people who um, there's a video on Vim in Colmac um, by one of the, uh, a developer um, he did a uh, screencast of him uh, doing Colmac in Vim um, that's another thing with these as uh, uh, you know how in the in Vim the J is to go down K is to go up left and then right that is all jacked up at least in the Colmac H DH and then if you look at just regular Colmac here it's a little um, it can get a little they're still closer together but it can still be a little issue but not as bad as say um, the Vorek which the J and the K and the L and the H are all over the board so that's again one of the downsides to the Vorek but a lot of people do change uh, in the configuration in Vim to like remap keys but when I move to Dvorak and now Colmac I'm not doing that it's just simpler um, less work you just plus it forces you to know where the J the K L and the H are so but let me know if you guys are um, if any of you have tried Colmac or Dvorak and um, what you thought about it and and hopefully I will get around to another video on Monday um, I do plan on uh, creating a file server uh, and I got a uh, request to get lemon bar working in Herbsluft um, uh, WM so I will be working on that but yeah I, I, it's, I do apologize again how the, the length I, I just could not find time and to to make a video and all that stuff so but yeah I'll explain later in a, a, uh, another oh uh, one more thing sorry really quick with the Colmac is they actually use the caps lock key as a backspace so you don't have to go all the way up to here um, fairly rarely do anyone actually use the, the caps lock key so they just remapped it as a backspace so which is actually kind of good so but yeah i will see you guys in the next video